Hello guys, in this video I will show you the way I wear my soccer socks for a game. Welcome to Tony Show Me. Hello guys, how are you doing? My name is Tony and welcome back to Tony Show Me. As I already mentioned, in this video I'm going to show you the way I wear my soccer socks for a game. Hopefully you like it and you try it on. So let's start. Alright guys, so let's start. Uh, first let me show you what I have. Of course we have the cleats. We have uh, a little tape that's going to be uh, to secure the shin guards. We have of course the socks. Uh, as you guys can see, I actually cut them here. And that's for a reason that I'm gonna explain later. And then this is uh, just the cover for the shin guards. This is going top of them. These are just my regular Nike socks that I use uh, basically every day. And then we have the, of course, the shin guards. In this case, it's the USA shin guards. So yeah. All right, guys. So the first step will be, of course, to put uh, your regular socks. This is the way I do it. I like to use these ones. They are really comfortable. Uh, just dry feet and again since I use them basically every day they're really comfortable when I uh, play soccer because I'm already used to them uh, so this is what I do I put them on then I'm gonna put the shin guards cover you don't actually need these ones but uh, because with the tape is good enough to secure the shin guard but uh, they are they are good and if your shin guards already have these ones included they're perfect so you just place them next step so you're gonna place your shin guards under the um, the shin guard cover but on top of the sock this is kind of a cushion but by adding the sock under this it's just gonna add more uh, comfortability for your legs and you're gonna place this do the same with the other leg I like to put them around what is it, like Kind of this distance from my foot is like two inches from the my foot and then the next step is to place of course the socks as i already said i cut them here and that the reason of that is because i don't i don't like to use double socks because uh my cleats are already tied to my foot so if i use double socks it's kind of uncomfortable or my foot will not even uh, fit on the shoe so that's why i cut them so the only socks that are on the inside the cleats are the Nike, the, the white ones. So I'm gonna take this up. I like to put the black sock a little high so that when I put actually the cleat, there's a little white part of, of, this, of this sock just because of proportion. You know, like, of course, as you guys can see, I'm, I'm, I'm a slim guy, but when I, when I do this, you know, the, it's just visually the legs look a little bigger and I just like that it, it helps you know and mentally it makes you it makes me feel uh, a little more comfortable we're gonna repeat the same with the other one all right all right here we go guys now the next step I do is I actually put on the cleats Also, I just got these cleats. If you haven't checked out the video about uh, my review of the Adidas X Ghosted Point 3 for firm ground, I'm gonna leave it right here, the link, and also in the description box so you can check it out. Then, of course, I put the cleats. I like to do, uh, I don't know how you call this, but kind of like this times double, you know? <laughs> Again, same, and I like to do it twice. This little thing. And then it looks good, you know, it's already, uh, you're already ready to play. 
However, the last step is the most important for me, just to put some tape. Besides that, the sock, it has like little, you know, like material coming out. The tape is to take care of that, but also to secure the sock with the, with the uh, white sock and that the shinger don't move a lot. I just do like one and a half lap of it. The same in the other foot. It doesn't have to be perfect guys, it's just for for securing uh, your socks and your shin guards. And that is it guys. So this is how this is how I do it. Every time I watch soccer, uh, professional soccer players of course, I notice that there are kind of uh, three general ways of wearing the socks. Uh, of course the most common is the one that I like to use that is a little just slightly under the knee around here. I like to extend the whole sock, put it down and then go up again around here you see same with the other one and yeah this is this is the most common way to use the socks that I've noticed you can check uh, soccer players like Cristiano Ronaldo you can check also uh, uh, freestylers like the F2 that they use their socks like this uh, I really like this way to use it because the other two ways are to put it all the way on the top like we had them at the beginning uh, however, it looks amazing and I feel warm but when I run this actually kind of makes me feel that I don't have a lot of uh, uh, What is it like mobility? I cannot move my legs freely. It's not a lot It's just a little bit, but it doesn't uh, make me feel comfortable and If they are not really tight the socks are just gonna go down and end up in this position So I just put them here and the other one is if you actually like to use them like Paulo Dybala from Juventus or Chucky Lozano from Napoli you can use them like this you just put them slightly over the shin guard like this you can take this a little down again the other leg and this is how players like Dybala and Chucky Lozano use their soccer socks so there you have it guys uh, the way I wear my soccer socks as you guys can see it's pretty simple I didn't create this form of course but this is the way I like it I show you also three ways to wear, to wear the socks over the knee, slightly under the knee and over the shin guard so you can choose uh, your favorite one I hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did drop me one like, thumbs up also uh, share with friends, family, teammates with every person you know share this video uh, that might be interested in also let me know in the comments which of the three ways to put your socks on uh, you prefer the over the knee, under the knee or slightly over the shin guard. Uh, don't forget also to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss any piece of content here at Tony Show Me. My name is Tony and I'll see you next time. <laughs>